Hyogeography Lithosphere, the formation of corries, arets and pyramidal peaks. Corries are very distinctive landforms. Usually, the classic corry is a large, deep rock hollow cut into the side of the mountainside. They are semicircular with steep back walls. Most corries form on north to northeast facing slopes. Decreasing temperatures at the start of the Ice Age means that snow collects in hollows high up on the mountainside. Over time, this is gradually squeezed into ice. The accumulation of ice is assisted by spring and summer thawing. Eventually, the weight of the ice causes it to move downhill under the force of gravity. This is helped by melting water underneath the glacier, often referred to as basal sliding. Water often enters the glacial system via the bergschrund between the head wall and the back of the glacier. Glacial erosion happens in two ways. Plucking steepens the back wall of the quarry, while abrasion deepens the hollow. After the Ice Age, and as long as precipitation is greater than evaporation, a quarry lock or tarn may form. A good example of a quarry is Ben Louis in Scotland. When two quarries form back to back, an arete forms. The arete is the ridge between the two quarries. When three or more quarries form around a mountain top, a pyramidal peak will form. A good example of an arete is Striding Edge in the Lake District. The classic example of a pyramidal peak is the Matterhorn, found on the border between Switzerland and Italy in the European Alps. On an Ordnance Survey map, a quarry has a distinctive horseshoe shape. The contour lines are close together on three out of the four sides. Sometimes the quarry lock may be shown in the middle of the quarry. The formation of a quarry is fundamental in understanding the formation of an arete and of a pyramidal peak. This means in an examination, if you are asked to explain the formation of an arete or a pyramidal peak, you must also explain the formation of a quarry.